Hey Guardians, this is Colt from Necrotics Gaming. I am going to be bringing you an awesome Warlock build. Um, you've all been using Strand, no doubt. Um, those of you who are new to Strand, it's absolutely amazing. And get yourself fully unlocked on it, because with the Onslaught mode, a Strand is absolutely amazing at ad clear. Um, this Warlock, the Needlestorm, isn't the greatest boss DPS damage, but it is absolutely great for ad clear. Um, you get a shit ton of threadlings with it, and um, the way it's set up, um, I'm setting it up to suspend as well, for suspending bursts. So we'll be getting plenty of that, and mainly this build that I'm doing is a suspend build over a threadling build. Um, and I'll be using the Swarmers, it's a super fun build to use, I really enjoy it. After the build you're going to see how it performs in Nightfall, just to see how it does up against ads, and see how the build works. I um, hope you enjoy it as much as I do and um, we'll get started on it in a second. The other thing with it is the weapon choices you can use with this are absolutely amazing. Um, I go for a lot of the nanotech rocket strand weapons. I really like a hell of a lot and um, I like using the tessellation as well because the tessellation on the kills you get an increase in grenade energy so if you're running short on grenade energy and you've got tessellation it is a great weapon to be using, and um, that will be your exotic slot. Like I said, it is one of my personal favourites. You can see with this, the um, setup that I've gone on for my Warlock. Just copy these fragments down and have a look in your menus at what they are, but the Thread of Wisdom, defeating suspended targets creates an orb of power, and the continuity here, um, we suspend, unravel, and sever effects. They are all going to be working double time. Um, be working well with a needle storm. Um, the thing with a needle storm is using um, this, the threadlings that you'll get when you pop it plus the suspension and using the mind spun for aspect, which is the first one that I've got up there. Um, the threadlings will have a chance of getting suspending burst. Um, and also with the wanderer that I've got, when you throw those tangles, they will suspend as well. Um, like I said, you can copy that down as a screenshot and just set it up yourself and you can go through it and see exactly what I'm doing um, and you can see here with the um, mods that I'm running with my warlock you can copy these down as well and at the end of this segment um, you're going to see it all laid out and you can see exactly what I'm running and what I'll be running on my artifact. It's a pretty straightforward build. Some of the aspects can be switched out, but like I said, you want to go on for suspend, unraveling, and sever, and trying to prolong those as quick as possible. Obviously, I've got the woven mail set up that I have. Um, every time you pick up an orb power, you get the woven mail. So I really like that. Working well with these swarmers, and you get the threadlings spawned from tangles on this and obviously the whole threadling thing that I mentioned earlier that you will be getting suspending bursts from them will be absolutely awesome. It's like I said a nice build, it's a no brainer build and with my artifact here you can see that I <clears throat> have the solar mod set up, sometimes I run a solar weapon like a sunshot um, a dragon's breath so these are really for that so they get the radiant in there and get the get the buffs from the Radiant, get the extra damage in. And obviously I'm running the Strand um, Artifact mods, which are the Unraveling Orbs. So you get the Unraveling Rounds when you pick up an Orb of Power on your Strand weapons, and damaging Unravel targets with a weapon occasionally spawns a Threadling. So like I said, lots of Threadlings with this, lots of Suspend, lots of Unraveling, and lots of Sever, and wished into being. I love this. While your Super is nearly fully charged, um, you get um, orbs of power spawn on abilities you activate. Um, the weapons I've got here, Circular Logic, underrated heavy machine gun. Um, you should have a go on one of these with Hatchling. It's really good. And like I said, I like using nanotech rockets. Um, I find they absolutely kick-ass when they start working. And you can see them launching in and doing the extra damage. But the Dragon's Breath um, is really good for that harder content. Obviously, the amount of damage this thing does. And it's well worth the uh, catalyst, especially with the fire sprites that you get dropped. The Tessellation, an absolutely amazing fusion rifle. And the damage from that um, 
gives you back your grenade energy and it switches to whatever subclass you are so if you're solar it will work as a solar you can see the indebted kindness here for any of you who have got this from the dungeon you probably love it as much as I do I accidentally got rid of mine with osmosis which I'm gutted about well, I think it was permeability but perpetualis um, an absolutely solid auto rifle like I said you can switch that out for a quick silver storm and obviously your strand bow you can see my roof is sat there and you can see the hand cannon <laughs> I like using strand weapons I like using strand setups um, you're gonna see this build um, being used after this in a nightfall and some other footage so definitely watch it through you see how things work with this and um, coming up is everything laid out for the warlocks so that you can screenshot this and um, give a good old copy over you can see all the mods there and you can see the weapons that I'm running you can see they've got two with hatchling and those nanotechs and it just makes for a really solid build so when you're doing horde mode this thing will keep you alive and you will have green little fireworks and fairy lights everywhere with the uh, unraveling the sever and everything going on plus you'll be having them suspended and dancing like puppets this build is really good check out the footage you'll get to see how this build works um, for those of you who already know about strand you can skip through it but for those of you who don't give it a watch and um, you'll see how this build performs Okay, thank you for watching. This is the second video in my preparation for Onslaught. I've got another two videos to come, so check them out. Hit me up with a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm starting to work towards a thousand subscribers now. Like I said, enjoy and uh, rate or slate and keep watching. Adios.